All right, so the last uh, tutorial just kind of dropped out at the end. Sorry about that. I just installed El Capitan and uh, QuickTime isn't playing nice, so bear with me. Um, so we've just created our uh, table, our, uh, you know, our tab, uh, contents tab, and uh, it's a table of contents, and uh, it's, we're going to use that to uh, uh, better keep track of our notes. Next thing that uh, we'll show you is how to create a tasks um, and in a you know in a kind of a checkboxy fashion that you're used to using them. Uh, if you're in if you've used Google Notes before um, and you see how this is laid out, uh, I think you'll find it very familiar to what you know you've been using before. Uh, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to display all of the current tasks I have to do. Um, like for instance, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just create what I call a task. Uh, let's say I call it take out the garbage. And uh, I'm going to give it a task tab, a task tag. And uh, it's gonna, like I said, the uh, it's case sensitive. It's a small t task. I'm gonna add that. And uh, that's what's gonna denote what tiddlers or notes that I've created that are actually tasks that I need to do. I'm going to save that. Now I want um, this task to show up here and when I've checked it to be uh, completed I want it to show up in my completed area. So the only the ones that I want to see in my to-do one are the ones that I have uh, I've you know I have yet to do and the only ones I want to show I'm completed are the ones that I've completed and uh, the completed uh, is nice because you know sometimes I'll resurrect um, tasks that have you know been completed you know maybe even several months ago and I need to bring it back up with the notes that were attached to it and what happened and uh, what transpired there and why it needs to be picked back up so um, that's just a nice way for me to uh, to grab that information. So there that is. So I want this to show up here. So uh, next thing that I'm going to do then is uh, I'm going to edit this tiddler to show all of my current tasks. So how I do that I'm going to zoom in here so you can see what I'm writing. Is I'm going to create a list. Again, this is going to be quite a bit of uh, this is going to be quite a bit of uh, uh, text here that I'm typing in. But just keep in mind, you're only having to do this once. So um, let me zoom out. I'm kind of put this in the Oh, well, let me just pop this up at the top, and I'll put the, uh, this is the to-do, I'll put the completed, yeah, let me just save this, close everything, I want my uh, to-do first, and then completed. Or, yeah, I got to think of this in backwards. I'm still kind of getting used to this a little bit. So, completed to do. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit this. So, now we're going to see um, uh, we have the to do tab and we have the completed tag. And then also, maybe I might have uh, let's go back to that um, take out the garbage. We we'll keep an eye on that one too. So I'm going to type a list and we're going to filter it. And the reason why we have the, the banger here, an exclamation point, and draft of is because 
I don't want any drafts. I only want saved tags. I only want saved um, items to show up in this list. I don't want items that I'm currently, you know, have open and are editing. And uh, so what it's telling me here is, is that I don't want to use the draft of, uh, of the task tags. And I also, uh, which I'll explain later, I don't want to use um, to-do items that uh, have a done tag attached because, you know, this is only going to show what has been, um, uh, you know, what it's been, uh, what is yet to do. And I'm going to sort it by created. So it's going to put um, all of the older to-do items at the top and sort them sequentially that way. So that creates my list filter. And, uh, you know, when I create these, I also have to close them. So that's my list. Next thing that I'm going to create is uh, I'm going to create the uh, title. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to take this list and output all of the titles of here you see in the to do it's um, this one is yet to do there it is take out the garbage but that's nice I see the title but I want to be able to interact with that I want to put a little checkbox here that uh, when I click it it marks it as completed so how do I do that and then also let's say that I want to look at this maybe I don't have this open and I want to look at it. I want to be able to click on it and uh, open it. So we're also going to create a link. So uh, let's do that. I'm going to edit this. Um, maybe the first thing that I'm going to do is create um, a link. And uh, I'm going to link the title message. Remember the titles um, are what uh, dif differentiates all the titlers. So I can link to the title and that actually links to the actual titler. So just by doing that measure there I can now click on this and now I can open up take out the garbage. Next thing I want to do like I said is create that uh, checkbox. So let's create the checkbox. Now I'm going to put it above the link here. Let's create that checkbox. Checkbox tag. And when I check this box, I wanted to add the done tag. I'm going to add a space here. I'm going to add a space here just to be sure that uh, there's a space between that and the title. I'm going to hit save. Oh, you know, something else that I want to do is. Uh, you know, I'm encapsulating this thing, so I'll actually need to go ahead and uh, close the checkbox. Because this is the reference, um, this is the actual reference that I'm uh, applying this checkbox to. So now I have a checkbox. And as soon as I click it, it's going to add it to the completed area. But obviously, I've, it, so what it's done is, is as soon as I've clicked it, it's added the done tag. And because I'm excluding the done tag from the to-do, it's no longer showing a to-do item. So in my completed, obviously, I need to do the same thing. I need to display all of the, um, all of the items that I've already completed. Now for the sake of time, I'm just going to co copy in some text that, text that I've already created to do that. And we'll zoom in on this and to take a look at it closer. Um, so I'm including, I'm not including any drafts, but I'm including uh, the task tag and the done tag, and I'm sorting it again by the date created. And uh, I've also have a checkbox here where I'm going to remove that done tag. And the reason why I'm doing that is maybe I want to uh, bring it back to life. 
Again, the two, I'm creating a link. And I have the title here. And uh, I'm not going to confuse you. I'm going to take this out because we're going to talk about that later. So, and then also, you notice these uh, squiggly lines here. Well, the squiggly lines are a markup. And we're going to go over markup language and exactly what that is in a later tutorial. So I'm going to click Save. And as you can see, you can see this here. And the, those squiggly lines actually added a, a strike through. I'm unchecking this box, and here it winds up here. I check it, and now it winds up here. As you can see, we've just created a nice way to track tasks. All uh, because TillyWiki has programmable features that uh, you can start creating interfaces with. Well, I I'm going to go ahead and edit this again. And Something else that I kind of like to do is uh, I, I like to see a date. Uh, when this thing was created, uh, you know, just so I can see how delinquent I am on the, some of the tasks I need to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's uh, create another view, but this time we're going to do. Uh, we're going to show the field created, which is the created date. And I also need to format that because it's kind of in a Unixy time stamp and uh, it's not re very readable. Um, so we're going to give it day, a month, and an hour. And uh, and there it is, 23rd of September, 24-hour time. <laughs> so there we are. We've created um, we've created uh, a nice way to track uh, to-do items. So I think in the next tutorial we'll go into uh, the markup language and uh, go into that in a little bit more depth. What you can do when you're inside a tiddler.